This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network, and we are a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek being held virtually this year. Joining me right now is Kelly Earl. She is from Skeena Resources. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, SKE on the TSX and SKREF on the OTCQX. Kelly, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well. Thanks for having me, Robert. It's great to have you on. So let's start with a, a, a quick overview and history of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sure. So uh, Skeen is uh, listed on the TSX, and we're um, a junior that's focused in the Golden Triangle of Northwest British Columbia. We have two main assets that are both past producing mines that we've acquired from Barrick, SNP, and SK Creek. And our flagship is really the SK Creek project. It's the former highest grade gold producer in the world. We're really excited. We just signed a definitive agreement with Barrick to acquire 100% and we're busy drilling and working towards a pre-feasibility study. So we actually last talked about two years ago, I think at, at a precious metal summit. Yeah. So I'd love to get an update, not, not the whole two years, but let, let's say some corporate highlights of the last 12 months. So we've been very busy in the last 12 months. So the, I guess the biggest highlight since we last spoke would be uh, putting out our pre uh, preliminary economic assessment on SK Creek. So we put that out in November of last year. Um, extremely high grade open pit. The current resource is sitting at 4 million ounces between the indicated and inferred at 4.4 grams per ton gold equivalent open pit. So very high grade. We put the first economics out on it in November of last year um, at 1325 uh, gold. It has a $638 million NPV after tax at a 5% discount, 51% after tax IRR, extremely robust project for only a $233 million US CapEx. And that was at 1325 gold. If I plug spot prices in now, the after-tax MPV is about 1.3 billion and the IRR is right around 80%. So spectacular deposit in a rising gold market. So that's the main thing that we've accomplished since then. We've also excitingly started exploration drilling. We hadn't done any last year. We started it this year. We've had our first results out. This is really gonna give the market an idea of the exploration potential that's left at SK and it's, it's huge. So. Our results have started to come out. They'll continue uh, throughout the rest of the year and that'll all lead into a new resource and a an, uh, pre-feasibility study in the first half of next year. Very good. So what would you say is the one question that you've been getting from investors that maybe we can address right now? So I think a lot of um, investors are concerned about maybe British Columbia in general. Um, it's not always been known as the best jurisdiction um, to deal with First Nations and mines. Um, but we've worked really hard on that. And Skeena is actually the founding member of an alliance called the British Columbia Regional Mining Alliance. First of its kind, it's a partnership between the Ministry of Mines in British Columbia, two First Nations groups, the Nishka and the Taltan, that um, their land is in the Golden Triangle, and then four corporate members. And I think working on that partnership, it's really helped build our relationship with the Taltan, which is the First Nation group that we work with, the British Columbia government, um, and just really opened our eyes to the importance of working with the First Nations group. And I would say, uh, you know, that's, we used to get a lot of questions about that, but now that we've started this alliance and we worked alliance and started to work so hard on these relationships, it's, um, it's really uh, showed the public that it's not the issue that it used to be, that the Golden Triangle in British Columbia is really a tier one jurisdiction to operate in. So with that, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for the rest of this year going into 2021? Sure. So the first thing is continued exploration results. We've had some great success in two new zones at SK Creek, and we should continue to expand them with drill results through the rest of this year. We're also doing infill drilling, and that'll lead to a new resource coming out at the beginning of next year. So we're at 4 million ounces at 4.4 grams right now. Our internal target is 5 million ounces at 5 grams open pitable. So that's what we're working towards. And then as soon as that resource is out at the beginning of next year, the pre-feasibility study will come out, and that'll be out um, by uh, the middle of next year. And then we'll push forward with the full feasibility study. It's uh, going to be a busy, busy 18 months for Skeena. Sounds like it. Well, where can my audience go and find everything they need to know about Skeena Resources? Of course. So our website, uh, we just launched a brand new website, actually, uh, SkeenaResources.com. Everything you need to know is there, including my contact details if you have any questions. Kelly, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Sounds good. Nice to talk to you. 
Great to talk to you too. Again, my name is Robert Kraft and I am your host on SNN Network and we're a proud media sponsor for the upcoming Precious Metal Summit Beaver Creek being held virtually this year. Kelly will be there on behalf of Skeena Resources and thank you for listening today. Thanks.